Hello there. Right, just before we begin with this um, home studio tool, uh, just take a get my hands washed. And before I touch all that studio stuff, right, that wasn't long enough, was it? Nah, nah. Bit longer than that, right? Yes. Right. All right. So how should we start this too? Hey guys, what's up? That's how we're supposed to start then, like videos and that. Um, anyway, I'll say good afternoon from London and let's go to the studio. Well, bedroom. Hello. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are in central London. Um, and this is my um, home recording studio. It's just the second bedroom. Um, it's not a proper recording studio. It doesn't have like a sound booth and a separate thing with the glass in where you can see the band and that. It's not even big enough for that anyway. I'm not going to go into each piece of equipment in, the detail, in detail today. I'll probably do that at a later stage if we're still in lockdown. Um, right. Uh, right, so start off here. This is the desk, and this is an Argosy desk from America. This is my computer, which I use just for emails and stuff. It hasn't got any of the music package on, because uh, the music package is kept on a separate computer uh, by itself, no internet connection or anything like that. Just have to turn you around a little bit. Right, I don't know whether you can see this. Um, this is a MIDI keyboard, right, at the minute. Uh, it's connected to um, the computer and it's um, it's got a plug-in which means like an insert uh, in there it's the sound of the piano but I can put any kind of sounds in I usually use this to trigger the drum um, package which is in there from writing the drum pa uh, patterns um, and I, I also use this on the latest album it triggered the sound of a harpsichord in there Oh, and I also play the beginning of that Richard Clayderman's a creep on this. Um, on exactly the same sound as that one. Um, okay, um, let's start there. Uh, show you around. I'm going to take you to the battle room and we're going to come in and I'm going to go through each piece of thing. Right, I'm not going to go into all the details again, like I said, because I don't know what it all means anyway. So, um, okay. I'm going to take it to the back. So uh, it's actually a lot smaller than what it appears to be on video. It's only this room is about nine foot by seven foot. It's tiny, um, but like I say, space is a premium in, in um, central London. It's so expensive to live here, so you get this is what you get. Uh, anyway, on the walls we have um, these panels, which are acoustic panels. It's called acoustic treatment and they are from mafia panels the two things in the corner there are called bass traps uh, and they trap the bass frequencies and they're from uh, geek acoustics i think it is um that's a saw phone cushions and stuff and that's the bass guitar I used to write and it's a uh, ernie ball music man stingray um, okay, so I'm going to take you over to the other side of the room and we're going to have a look at the guitars. Okay, this one I bought quite recently actually. It's a, a Fender Professional American Telecaster and it's absolutely amazing. That pick up there I usually change to a Seymour Duncan but I didn't even have to bother on this one it's so nice that exactly the way it is the stock pickup very happy very very nice it needs setting up professionally by luthier but um, I'll get that done soon um, and the other one is absolutely a dream to play and this is a um, let's have a look a Les Paul standard and it's a 60s style Actually, I say 60s style, it was still bought, built in 2019. 
um, and it's a dream and, it, and the color of that one is um, bourbon burst and the color of this one is butterscotch over there is my main stage cricket bat that yellow one there which is a devil to play but I love you okay I'm gonna take it over to have a look at the microphone that I use I've got a number of different microphones and um, but this is the main one that I use this is a, a, a Shure SM 7B okay we'll look at that and that's a pop filter that's on the front there I'll talk about this in detail at a different time and that's just a shield around it it doesn't really do that much but it stops the voice flying around the rest of the room um, because I try to keep it down here I can't make much noise in a central London flat unlike the noisy people upstairs with the kids running around anyway back to this um, for tracking which means recording I use these uh, Sennheiser headphones uh, which are HD 25s they're closed back which means nothing gets in and the sound from this doesn't come back through the microphone uh, so down here we have um, uh, a keyboard a computer keyboard which is um, which controls over there it's just when I'm over here doing the singing and things and shouting or whatever it is I don't have to keep going back and forwards and forwards and backwards to the computer to uh, change things I can control it all by here all right are you getting sick bit bored no tired falling asleep no all right let's carry on go around the corner here now oh by the way yeah this microphone here I actually used this um, on the latest album I sang quite a few of the vocals in this room so goes to show you can record things in your bedroom and put them out on an international album there you go okay let's have a look around the corner here most of the guitars are recorded in on the latest album I'm recorded in London at the studio uh, unit 2 studios for the latest album but there's a few things I did actually record here like I say I can't make a lot of noise so I just I could just record a few little bits and pieces and I record them through this amplifier which is a Marshall JCM 800 2203 and that's an AV1960s cabinet on the cabinet here we go we use two microphones uh, on that speaker was a, a SM57 Shure microphone on this side was a 421 Sennheiser microphone and they mixed together uh, to make the sound and on the albums what you usually use is the Telecaster at one side there you go and the Les Paul out the other speaker um, and then the rest of the guitars have all just just the Telecaster um, etched with with the Les Paul it just thickens up the Telecaster a bit makes it sound like a, a, a little bit thicker um, but most of the time it is in Telecaster right over here we have um, this is the main computer right I like to use a laptop right because I can take it to get fixed or 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 take to do anything or record elsewhere and come back here and uh, on this computer oh, I'll tell you about the computer first year because I know you're gonna ask well two or three of you're gonna ask it's a um, Apple MacBook Pro 2015 15 inch 2.8 16 gigabytes RAM and 512 uh, SSD storage flash storage um, you get that right and on this all there is is the music package at the minute it's Pro Tools right and and I use Logic Pro as well uh, this is Pro Tools 12.5 and I've got it connected to that which is the screen um, and that's Pro Tools what you see in there um, right there's nothing else on here apart from the music package um, and nothing is saved to here all the projects are saved to that thing there see that that's called an external drive and that's made by G technology then at the end of the day when I've been working I'll copy everything and make a backup to the other external drive and then at about once a week I've got another drive which is called a time machine drive which makes a copy of your whole system 
so there's two backups really let's have a look around the corner right that microphone there is a very cheap one it's just called a Rode NT1A um, it's just kept in the corner there it's plugged in uh, so when I'm initially when I'm starting to write the songs from a blank piece of paper that picks up the guitar amp and it picks up my vocal uh, didn't sound very good but uh, just to get the basic ideas down um, and then I'll move on to making the demos and I'll use the SM7B right coming back across here headphones now these are different headphones these are for mixing right uh, they're open back ones sound completely different to the other ones for tracking I'll talk about headphones and things in a different video but just in case you're interested remotely this these are Sennheiser HD 650s got that and they're very comfortable and absolutely a dream and, and they really don't flatter the sound at all these are flat and exactly what they should be for mixing all right let's have a look at here oh let's have a look at speakers right these are Genelec 8040B right six and a half inch speakers and six and a half inch is the perfect size so I've heard and these two speakers are called Aventone Mix Cubes uh, they're just reference speakers that are put on now and again to hear different frequencies um, for fixing things in the EQ I'll explain all that later anyway they're just little speakers um, this is um, uh, a Furman power conditioner now every piece of equipment here is plugged into this one thing right it's got lights on as well look yay right so um, I just have to turn that one switch and everything comes on together I don't have to turn out for each individual thing and regarding each individual thing this is a um, audio interface this is called an Apollo 8 right uh, it's made by Universal Audio um, and all the microphones and everything are, uh, are connected to this uh, and it goes to the computer right and also I can have um, eight microphones in if I want I never usually use more than three microphones at once but um, and this little thing is another audio interface see that now that's called an Apollo Twin it's made by Universal Audio again and this was the first one I got a while back before I moved on upgraded to that one and I just kept this one and it's connected to that one so this one controls that one I can turn this do, 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 right without having to reach right across and turn this one um, I, I can actually do it on the screen there I can do it on there as well digitally as you can see that's moving on the screen there can you see that no anyway enough of that right these two things here are called patch bays right and basically everything from the back of there the inputs and the outputs are all connected to these things so when I want to plug something in I don't have to reach around the back right around there and climb on the floor and stuff then um, I can just plug a microphone in there or guitar goes in there and um, anyway moving on um, right so that's the screen as I said that's Pro Tools that's on there and sometimes oh missed one thing out the headphone amplifier right this one I'll put on so you can see the flashing lights and stuff this is a headphone amplifier um, and I can control each individual headphones and you can patch across from there so you can have individual mixes and stuff and it's made by Mackie uh, and it's a HM400 <sighs> right <coughs> enough of that Right, this is a computer keyboard and a magic trackpad. Um, I never use a, a mouse or controller. Actually using this is just so, so easy. You know, just, it, it, I can move everything on the screen um, and it's not Bluetooth. Everything's connected by wires underneath there. I hate Bluetooth because of losing a connection when you're writing songs and stuff, drives you crazy. So everything's wired. Um, that thing down there, is a universal audio uh, satellite I'll explain what that is later on a different thing it's too boring at the minute right over here this is a DBX graphic equalizer which I never use because I've got digital graphic equalizers which are 10 times better but this is just an old thing 
Uh, I might use it at some point. It's just filling in the space there. It's from my old studio, actually. Right, this one is called a channel strip. Uh, and that's a preamp and that's a compressor. I'll explain all about that in an individual video. Anyway, it's called the Universal Audio 6176. When I'm recording the vocals, everything goes through this to start off with. I like to record with some compression and of course you need the preamp uh, to drive the microphone, but later, talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. Right, so this is my guitar tuner, right? It's called a Korg, can you see that? Pitch Black. It's absolutely fantastic, precise. There's guitar tuners in Logic and um, Pro Tools, but um, this one's a lot more precise for me. Um, and it's connected to the back of the audio interface over there, so I don't have to bother plugging cables and things in to get it in tune. And it does fancy tricks and stuff, look. Look at that, yay. Right. So over there again, yeah, that's the yellow cricket bat that I was telling you about there, 1977 or 1978 or whatever. Um, okay, um, I think that's about it for now, right? So um, I'm gonna uh, go and wash my hands again and get some work done. Uh, see you soon. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and um, can get your hands washed again and. Um, you know what I'm supposed to do it. I'm supposed to sing happy birthday, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday dear Olga, <laughs> happy birthday to me, that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Yeah, something like that, to do it properly. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in a, uh, a few days probably. Stay safe, bye bye.